I think about men. I don't know why. And I'm so sorry. What did you as director and writer want to preserve about the book when you're turning it into a film? The honesty and the empathy and the, the complicated nature of the subject, you know, and, and the corporate safety and, and ideas-based therapy that Garrett went through, I was like, wow, all of it was motivated by love and a need to help. And that to me was kind of scary, that there was no real villains, it was just different people with different information and different understanding of the truth. Your parents signed you up for a program to fix you, but Jared, you are a perfectly normal, very healthy teenage boy. I wanted to be a part of something that I think can help to instigate change and I wanted to play this lovely woman who's an incredible mother. I really actually thought Joel was making a joke when he first told me that you were <laughs> going to play me because I had already told him. I said, do you think you could get Nicole Kidman because she's my favourite actress? <laughs> he looked at me and he said, I can try. I love God and I love my son. For your father, it's a little more complicated. What was it that kind of compelled you to get involved and make this movie? The character and the character's mind in the book. I really loved the book. And then it was, I wanted to work with Joel and to get to act with him too. That was all I needed. He did this thing where he uh, would direct in character sometimes, which is interesting because his character is like, runs this program. Jared, God will not love you the way that you are. He said people wouldn't listen to him when he directed as Joel, but when he directed in character, everyone would shut up. To direct a movie is already insane, but to do it and act, how are you doing this? It was my first in terms of working with an actor who's also the director, who's also in the scene. But then you kind of just go with it. And he, he's such a good actor, so he's able to fine tune and give notes and then go straight back into the scene. It was born of necessity, but it was kind of fascinating. It also helped me not to confuse myself by sort of jumping back and forth. So who's ready? That was a question. You wrote the books, so you'd, you'd gone through reliving all these experiences. What did you learn from this extra translation of this original story? Well, I mean, there have been so many translations now, and now there's even a podcast coming out, and so I'm just like super excited that this one little book that wasn't supposed to sell much has suddenly become almost a little miniature industry. Mm -hmm. Thanks to Joel. This is an incredibly intimate family, mm -hmm. and they've exposed themselves yeah. to the world in the hope that sharing their story will help create more tolerance and love. What I say is I took Garrett to conversion therapy, but I was the one that was converted. Your revelation, won't you liberate enough?